All right, ladies and gentlemen, another uh, review of the Chave color strip. Um, a lot of DJs in my area are talking about uh, the Chave color strips and the, the the way that they do, like the Tetris stack, um, or um, some of us like to call it the Night Rider theme. For those of you that remember that show. That is number 17. Uh, I will say um, that it does have very good sound active mode. There's your Tetris stack. Hi everybody, DJ Bo, another review of the Chave color strips. Um, I know that there's uh, quite a few DJs switching over to LED and the buzz, at least in uh, my area near Erie and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, are the color strips. Um, I want to uh, point out a few things that uh, I noticed when I got my color strip. First thing was, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this with this camera or not, but uh, the lens that's on the front of here is actually beveled down in and then comes back up on this corner and on that corner. Now, not a big deal because they don't get hot um, and I don't think that the lens uh, is touching the LED. I bought four of these and all four of them did have that beveled in. Uh, you know, easy fix, pop it out, turn it around, put it back in. A lot of people are talking about these lights being too bright. Um, I just aim them up a little bit more. I mean, let's be realistic, just put them up in the air a little bit more. Don't aim them right at people's faces. Um, or uh, the great idea there that uh, somebody had on YouTube was uh, tinting the lens. It's a great idea. Uh, another uh, couple of things that we're going to uh, look at doing is actually um, frosting the lens to kind of get like a color tube effect and um, some possible uh, other uh, tinting uh, things that uh, we could do for the lens to get a different look, uh, maybe not so bright and so forth. I would say that one of the biggest drawbacks though um, was uh, said on one of the other YouTube videos is definitely the bracket and the uh, when you're putting on your O-clamps the wing nut hits the bracket um, it's a big pain in the ass to get this thing to uh, be in the right spot and tight so you can do uh, one of two things. Uh, come up with a few ideas. You can cut this area out just a little bit so that the, the wing nut can turn. You can put a regular bolt on there, obviously. Or you can just go out to Home Depot and get the wing nuts that have the high wing nut instead of the, the wing nuts being out. You know, that way they're up high instead. That's my independent review on the Chave color strip. Um, a lot of people are looking for decent cases for these. I'll have a video here um, hopefully next week when my cases come in uh, of what I'm using to protect my Chave color strips. Practice and enjoy.